Hey everyone, happy Saturday and welcome to day seven of the Lenten devotional series. Today, we're going to take a look at Genesis chapter two, verses eight to 25. So up to this point, we've already read of all the days of God's most majestic plan. So here, we're going to learn about how God is always working to put us in the most suitable atmosphere and environment for us, but and gives us clear commandments on what we should stay away from. In verse 8, we read that God has planted a garden in the east, in Eden, and there he put the man that he had formed. We continue to read of how intricately and beautifully he created the garden. There was a river watering the garden that flowed from Eden. It was separated into four headwaters, filled with the most exclusive golds. So this is a land that he's created just for, for us and was so beautifully made and had all that we could ever ask for. But even then, God thought that it wasn't enough. We read in verse 18 that the Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. So he works tirelessly to create all the wild animals of the land and sea. And then he still thinks that that's not enough for man. He's got... Our God is always thinking about what we need and trying to provide the most for us. Then he put Adam to sleep and extracted that rib and created woman, the most suitable helper for mankind. So here we see that God is always doing what he can to try and provide for us. But it's up, but it's up to us to make the right call. Now let's take a look at verse 17. He says, And the Lord God commanded to the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. In the same way, God is constantly providing so many great things for us in our daily lives. Our school, our workplace, our family, friends, food, just a roof over our head. He gives us so many things and just gives us a few things that we should be staying away from. As we continue the Lenten season, I'd like to challenge everyone and myself to continue reading the Bible and learning about all that we should be staying away from and to focus on continuing to live the life that God has planned for us. Thank you guys and have a good day. Thank you.